you're under no obligation to do this, but would you mind submitting yourself to a test of your deductive reasoning skills? Sure, why not? Sounds like fun. All right, dude. We can begin by taking a look at these. Photographs of three notes written by prison inmates while under Kira's control just prior to their deaths. None of this information has been made public. You can take as long as you want to look them over. Please let me know what you think. Very interesting. Come on, this is child's play. There's a print number on the back of each of these photographs. If I ignored this fact and was still able to come up with the phrase, L, do you know, gods of death love apples, what would that mean? Clearly, if I read it the way Kira intended on my first attempt, I'd only look more suspicious. But the fact that I'm able to solve this silly code isn't enough on its own to prove that I'm Kira. It would be quite amazing to learn that not only could Kira kill others, but could also control his victim's actions. I think Kira wrote these and it seems he's encoded a message for you as well, almost as if he's mocking you. If you line these notes up side by side and take a look at the first letter of every line, it reveals a message. Rearranging it like this gives you... L, do you know? Gods of death love apples. But there are obvious print numbers on the back of all these photographs. Arrange in that order we get... L, do you know? Love apples, gods of death. That doesn't sound right. And based on that, it's hard to believe that Kiddo would have wanted you to read it this way. That's incorrect. But the thing is, there were actually four photographs. When we add this one, it reads... Del, do you know? Gods of death who love apples have red hands. It's a fake. I never made any criminal write the letter in this fourth picture. Is he stupid? But seeing as I only had three photographs to work with, my deduction was perfect. No, it wasn't. The truth is, there were four of them. If you'd figured that out, it would have been perfect. Even though you knew the message was incomplete, you decided that there were only three notes. You never even considered that there might be a fourth. What do you make of that? Damn him. This wasn't just about gauging my deductive reasoning skills. He wanted to see what my reaction would be. If I keep falling for his tricks, I'll be playing right into his hands. Uh, well, you got me there. I didn't think of that. In any case, the likelihood this message will lead you to Kira is not very great. Besides, we all know gods of death don't exist. If you were me, faced with someone who might be Kira, how would you go about establishing this person's innocence or guilt? You need to be absolutely sure. I would probably try to get him to say something that was never made public in any way. Something that only Kira could know. 